Greetings, fellow Velociraptors. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a theory slash fan fiction that I wrote about a lot of the characters in that Venturian Cell has created. Um, it's going to char cover characters like Maxwell Akachala, Jimmy Casket, Johnny Ghost, Billy, Cardboard Friend, Gregory, Gregory Dot Gregory, and most importantly, Tommy. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, first of all, I'm gonna go over just the basic, just the original comment that had my whole theory in it. So... And... If anyone wants to know, it was on Prop Hunt 18. Okay. I'm just gonna quote the whole comment. But, just to preface, actually. They announced, sort of, uh, they just kinda said that, you know, this is the way it is, but, um that Gregory, Johnny Ghost, and Jimmy Casket are all the same person. So, there was also, this is the comment, there was also Gregory Dot Gregory in the Taser mod, who was secretly Officer Maloney's father. Johnny Ghost could be Officer Maloney's father. Maybe Johnny Ghost is immortal due to the effects of not being an alien, but something much darker and heinous. What is a popular theme in horror? Crows. Fitting that such an evil man would have a connection to the bird. He forgets who he was because he's lived so long. First, he created Jimmy Casket, the strongest and longest lasting persona. This was the stage where he was truly insane and the closest to Box Friend. Gregory, with the last scraps of sanity he had left, he created Gregory Dot Gregory and a new personality. Then, after a while, he changed to Johnny Ghost and subconsciously set out to destroy ghosts in order to find closure about Cardboard Friend. Jimmy Casket is leftovers of the first stage, still lingering, hiding behind the facade of sanity that is Johnny Ghost and Gregory Dot Gregory. This whole time, he's been looking for Cardboard Friend. The ultimate closure would be to destroy him. What better way to do so than to become a ghost hunter? This whole time, Johnny Ghost has been the protagonist, and Box Friend the antagonist. Box Friend essentially, essentially created the mass murderer, indirectly killing hundreds of victims that died at the hands of Jimmy Casket. So, it's a pretty good bit of information there, but I'm going to next be explaining how some of the characters have connections and it'll all be from the wiki page. Okay, so moving on to the characters, the first one I'm gonna go with is Johnny Ghost and Gregory Dot Gregory and Jimmy Casket, obviously, because like I said, they're all the same person. And like, you know, Venturian said, they're all the same person. Um, so this is all from the wiki, which it says, Jimmy Casket, Gregory Dot Gregory, and Johnny Ghost are all the same person. Um, so yeah, that's all that they had on there. But then you come over here to, let's see, Billy says, Jimmy Casket slash Johnny Ghost may very well be Billy's true father. This would also mean that Billy and Officer Maloney are brothers. He lost him at the 7-Eleven where Papa Akachala found him, marked as a possible plot twist by the Manchurian Tell gang. Now, the reason that it would mean that Billy and Officer Maloney are brothers is because Gregory Dot Gregory, as stated in the Taser Mod video, Gregory Dot Gregory is Officer Maloney's father. And so, if him and Jimmy Casket and Johnny Ghost are all technically 
the same person, and also Billy's father, then that would mean that they were brothers. So, you come up to uh, Maxwell Akachala. Jimmy appears to both know and be very close with Maxwell Akachala. The reasoning for this is unclear, but they have teamed up with each other. While they haven't actually interacted directly, we are w aware of them being close, or at least tolerating one another. Possibly because Maxwell has already been freed from his mortal body, so Jimmy has no reason to attack him. So... Yeah. <laughs> There's not a lot other than that to say about... I mean, it's got Sally, Vale, and Jeff the Killer, but they aren't too important to this theory, but I'll go ahead and read Sally's. Jimmy interacts with Sally very few times so far in uh, parentheses. The first time when she asks him if he has waffles and he do says he does, he tells her to get into his van, but is interrupted. A little later, he tells Sally he will never give her waffles, and in a fit of rage, Sally kills him. Sally may be the only other character capable of scaring Jimmy Casket, as both can be murderous, but it's more random with Sally. The possible second time is during Hide and Seek, when Sally is in the attic, Jimmy is trying to convince, er, trying to get her, and she's crying for her life. Sally is much more scared of him now, when she isn't crazy and has nothing to defend herself with. A third encounter is when Jimmy is murdering them all as dinosaurs. No direct interaction other than him killing her with the very stare of his eyes. Sally occasionally lives in the mental in institute Jimmy runs. So, yeah, that'll come in just a little bit later. And then, let's see, come over to... Um, let's go ahead and go over to another part of the, th of the theory, and it's going to be some of the stuff that people responded to in the comments, and then told me stuff that they think might be true, or stuff like that. Their theories. Okay, and so, the first thing, this is actually not something that somebody asked me, but just me elaborating a little bit to explain some more about what actually, uh, just about my theory. Okay, so, technically, Jimmy Casket is Gregory after he was exposed to Box Friend. Jimmy Casket and Box Friend aren't the same entity, but, yeah, aren't the same entity, but Cardboard Friend, yeah, I've kind of been switching back and forth between Cardboard Friend and Box Friend. But Cardboard Friend created Jimmy Casket. Also, other than the fact that they're both evil, how is it that Maxwell and Jimmy are related? This was before I'd been on the wiki and read all this stuff. So, I think Maxwell is just a ghost that Johnny happened to encounter sometime along a search for Cardboard Friend. Uh... Also, Maxwell was pretty obviously killed by the bank teller, but you may be right considering that we never see that. That's actually something from, uh, something that someone else was saying about how Cardboard Friend may have killed Maxwell in the bank, uh, when they were actually robbing the bank. Um, and so yeah, that's about it. That's all that's really important about that part, but... And so, someone asked me, so does exposure to box friend cause people to have split personalities? Because if that's so, it ex it would explain why Papa Akachala turns into Jose, 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 Jose. Um, and so, I said, cardboard friend is an anomaly in the universe that starts to break apart human reasoning when the two are exposed. This is why the Akachalas tend to come back to life. I'm not sure when the Akachalas met Box Friend, though. Um, leave your theories about that down in the comments. Um, 
because I honestly don't know when he would have. But, um, the only one that I've seen so far is that maybe Sally found him and brought him home. And so, let's see. Um, also, it isn't that he gives, uh, that Box Friend gives people split personalities. It was just that one of the things that happened to Gregory a after he went insane, he started, like, forgetting who he was and, um, just creating new personalities. Um, and so someone else asked me, or they say, Criminal Velociraptor. I had an idea. What if Johnny Ghost meeting the Akachalas happened before Sally lost it? She loved waffles, but this became a craving, and she started to go insane. When Johnny Ghost became Jimmy Casket, the trauma and fear finally cracked her, and she developed a split personality like him. That's why Sally becomes evil when she gets hungry. That's actually really, really good. Like... After reading the stuff on the wiki, that's, like, spot on. I mean, seriously. Think about it. She killed him after he would not give her waffles, which she was craving. And, I mean, I think it's pretty obviously... or I think it's pretty obvious to all of us that she's absolutely crazy for waffles... But anyway, uh, just, yeah, it's really good. Really, really good. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that is a pretty good bit of the comments. I gotta find some more over here on a different video, though. Um, huh. Sorry about this. And it's pretty close, I think. Okay. So, let's see. Terminal Velociraptor. I've been th trying to think of how the Akachalas met Cardboard Friend. And so far, the only thing that I could think of is that since Sally goes to Creepy Pasta High School, maybe she befriended Cardboard Friend and brought it to her house. That is actually a pretty good theory. Um, maybe. Maybe that's it. Um, huh. And I said that this was one thing that, this was kind of my theory on it, is that the glowing red eyes in the basement of the 7-Eleven could be box friends. Um, and then they said, but there were more than one pair of eyes. And then they also said that maybe Tommy actually created multiple of them. So, let's say, um, the reason that I thought that they might be cardboard friends, glowing red eyes, one the thing that actually disproves it though is that cardboard friend doesn't have glowing red eyes but the thing that i was thinking is all of the akachalas have at one point gone to 711 um and they have all spent a significant amount of time there so um and then someone else says that uh, someone else says, I still support the theory that Gregory was actually Johnny's brother, and that somehow Johnny was killed by him, leaning to his insanity. That would also explain why, at the end of the Box Friend video, the plot twist was that Gregory was already dead, both him and Box Friend were ghosts, left behind that dreadful old manor. Um, or left behind at that dreadful old manor. And so, I said... Maybe Johnny is Cardboard Friend. He turned into Gregory Dot Gregory because he had the remnants of his brother somewhere in his subconscious, thus leading to his new name. But the thing is, is that if he is Gregory, it doesn't make sense that 
he would actually be Gregory's brother. I... I just don't really get that. And so, yeah, that's about... I think that's it on the comments that people have asked me. So, if there's anything you want to ask me about the theory down in the comments, be sure to do that. And so next, I'm going to move on to... I'm pretty sure it's the final part of the theory. Okay, so here's the part of the story where it kind of stops being so much a theory and starts being more just speculation and just more of a fan fiction, basically. Um, but here it goes. Um, it's kind of crazy, but anyway... Tommy was the first Gregory, and yes, I'm talking about THE Tommy. Um, the large hollowed-out basement under the 7-Eleven is Tommy's birthplace, and he created bro Box Friend to protect it. The true reason that Gregory is immortal is because he's Tommy. If you'll remember, there was a fake wall in the cave system, and I think that it was created because of the bending of reality caused by Box Friend. I believe, uh, really quick, I'm gonna say that because I said that he was an anomaly in the universe and that he can just like reality just kind of goes crazy around him um, and that's why all the Akachalas are able to come back from the dead when they're uh, after they die so uh, yeah if you'll remember, there was a fake wall in the cave system. Uh, I think it was created by the bending of reality caused by Box Friend. I believe that Tommy also created Box Friend because he was lonely. If Tommy invented everything, that might mean that he was the first human because, you know, I mean, other humans would have been inventing things too, I guess. Um, anyone would have been lonely. This feeling of loneliness is what causes Johnny Ghost to become Jimmy Casket. The love for Box Friend, Tommy's first creation, carries over to Gregory. Then he started to decay. Now you may be asking yourself, Venturian learned from Tommy, didn't he? Oh, I kind of forgot a big part of this theory, which was that someone actually was talking to me, or, well, they just said in the comments that, um... A Minecraft tale and all of that might have actually been like the story of when Gregory first turned into Jimmy Casket. Um, because in like a new Minecraft tale, he's basically just walking around, you know, talking to flowers and stuff. <laughs> so, you know, you know, symptoms that a crazy person would, you know, some symptoms that a crazy person would have. Um, anyway, so, uh, Venturian learned from Tommy, didn't he? Well, actually, if Jimmy Casket was the one in, mine, in a Minecraft tale, then it was he who learned from Tommy. But he didn't learn from Tommy, at least, not exactly. Because he was Tommy at one time. The extreme knowledge bled through to Jimmy. The knowledge of many things were lost, though, such as the knowledge of Box Friend. It was all lost to decaying memories. So much knowledge, wasted, and gone forever. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this time. If you enjoyed the video, then, you know, you can leave a like and comment. Um, I really, really enjoyed making this. Um, I honestly... Just I haven't done anything like this before, so uh, it's always fun to try new things. Um, if there's anything that you agree with or disagree with or think that I missed or think that I should have added, I guess that's the same thing. But anyway, if there's anything you want to add to my theory, then just the best way to do that is go ahead and leave it down in the comments because... I will read every single comment. Every single one. Because I hardly get any. But, you know. Um. Even if all of you guys just hate it. I had a good time doing it. And. 
you know, that counts for something. Anyway, so, that's it. I'll see everybody next time.